sure love to cost a girl a fortune in hangar repairs, don't you? Carol came up here to find you. Where is she? Other than gone, who knows? I'd say she'd gotten tired of it all. Murga, Magister, all that jazz. Spirits know I have. Can't blame her for punching out. Yeah, right. Carol just giving up? That doesn't sound like her at all. Yeah? And how would you know that? She's my best friend. And she's my flesh and blood. You think you know my own sis better than me? <sighs> well, you can't force her to do what she don't want to, either way. She's her own woman, just like when she left for the scars. Take a page out of her book. Get gone and stay gone. Murga's got this in the bag. You're all way behind the power curve here, so get out before it hits zero. How does she keep doing that? We have bigger problems. While we may have disabled the beacons in this region... Didn't Spade say they were all over the island? Oh. Looks like we have work to do. Huh? Thanks for the fun times. Unfortunately, I've got bills to pay and errands to run. Consider the robot my service fee. Have fun saving the world. Oh, that's it! King Dale, a word, your highness? Miss Nira. I will attempt to phrase this as politely as possible. Tell your wretched scoundrel of a brother to surrender that alien drone immediately! Wait, what are you talking about? You sent him to assist us in Perusa, and now he's run off with the Syntax drone. And you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I am going to bust him up good. See that you do. I knew he had something up his sleeve. Spade is such a card. Look on the bright side! At least Serpentine doesn't have syntax, right? We have to find him. He cannot be allowed to sell that drone to anyone with both the money yeah, and no, temerity to... Gone. Wait, like you're all what's that sound? Syntax. That scent! Curse you, and that Freddy. other scent! <laughs> so the fool finally shows herself. Carol? Serpentine! Carol, quick! Get behind us! We'll cover you! What are you guys doing here? A better question. What is he doing here? Hold up, it's cool. We're on the same team now. The green team. So it's treason then. Yes! The furball works for me now! And together we will make Bakunawa mine! Uh, no. Backspace, bro. You work for me. Do you think this is some kind of a game, Wildcat? You've led us on a wild goose chase, jeopardizing the safety of millions. Look, I know it was a bad idea. Now, it was a family thing. I wasn't thinking straight, and it didn't end well. So let's just let bygones be bygones, eh? Oh, sorry, scary lady. What? No henchman of mine is going to apologize to anyone but me! Scratch your face! That's enough! We need to set aside our issues. Carol wants Cory, and Serpentine wants Bakunawa, and Nira wants Carol's head on a stick. Okay, but none of that is going to happen if- I agree. I will begin the head transplant immediately. But! There was a but there, Nira. Hold on. Hey, ladies. So, good news and bad news. Safe by the gong, am I right? <laughs> is that Carol? And Serpentine? Man, what did I miss? Never mind that, General. Report. Well, good news is, Murga's not at the palace no more. Shang Tu has been retaken? Excellent work. Thanks, but uh, she kind of left on her own. Bad news is, she took Pangu with her. Didn't she say that Pangu was a vital component? So that means... Bakunawa. <laughs> yes! Yes! Bakunawa will soon be mine! Are you trying to get beat up? Oh, Murga also left a message. Sounded like it was meant for Lilac. Me? Plate. Hatchling, I know you and your friends are behind the efforts to sabotage my work in Perusa. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. You still do not fully understand, and I wish to educate you. Meet me at these coordinates tonight. Come alone. Trap! Trap, 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 trap! Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Trying to hustle the soldiers we have left in Shang Tu for when you ambush Murga. You are ambushing Murga, right? No. Lilac, 
You do know that today is an opposite day, right? You all go look for Spade. I can handle this. You, you want, want me us to, to work, work with, with you the reprobates who attempted to destroy our world? world? I do. And unless you two want to fight over who let Spade get away with Syntax the worst, I'd suggest you two shake hands and get on with it.
So you've come. And alone, even. I hope to earn that mark of respect. Why call me out here, Murga? We had many... We were their brothers and sisters of the sea. And given just one name. Water Dragon. We were to be redeemed and remade in order to accomplish a... Necessary duty. I suppose it was in our favor that we were the most biologically compatible species on this planet. Out of our union was conceived a child. Bakunawa. And once she was born, well... They'd taken our names already. What else could they have taken from us? I didn't know. I'm sorry. Hatchling. Sash Lilac. Come with me. What? There is nothing left for us here. We can go and never return. Leave the Earth Dragons to their machinations and fly to a new world. And what happens to this world? Does it matter? I see. In that case... What's this meant to be? A clever ruse. <laughs> no! Not gonna... I'm impressed. That should have rendered you unconscious immediately. Not to worry. You will have plenty of time to forgive me once I awaken Bakunawa. Sneak attack! Hold on, Lila! This potion will fix you right up! Guys, you came. All right, giant fish lady, back off! Unless you want a face full of punchies! Indeed. Your schemes end here, Murga. Bakunawa will not rise this day. <laughs> What was that? A redirection of the island's volcanic pressure to key fault lines. You may have disabled a few of our beacons, but not all. Impossible! You needed Pengu! It was a vital component! I'm no fool. It was installed well before your arrival. Indeed. And that is why it is you who shall end here. Вот это вообще было сейчас неожиданно.
many of my people will now be my salvation. But Kunawa will no, rise to the sky and devour you, giving her the energy she needs to destroy the system. And we will sail the stars while this world runs. This planet is yours. Long may you reign vainglorious over a dead world. Ну, в этом деле я мастер. There's no way we'd catch up with her now. She's flying too high and too fast. This can't be happening. I won't let it! No! Looks pretty undevoured. What just happened? The fool! She's clearly too far away for the mining laser to be effective! Unhand me at once! The cooperative General Serpentine is on your side, and he has a plan. Let him go. We have an agreement. And you, talk! <laughs> it's simple. I have a small ship capable of chasing down a stolen weapon and evading any detection system she may have on board, which is more than I can say for your flying whale here. Hey! Don't you listen to him, Mayor's of luxurious sky fortress? He's just a mean, jealous reptile. You will turn this vehicle over to us immediately, Snake. We will use it to take the fight to Murga. Excuse me! First of all, it's my ship! So only I can pilot it! And second of all, no passengers! For the velocity I need to catch up to Buck Noah, I need the ship to be as light as possible. So we are to put the fate of the world in your hands? I think not. Maybe you could compensate for the additional weight somehow. Hmm, I suppose. But the calculations involved would be... Bah! Why even talk about it? I might have been able to do it with syntax. Without the drone, I'm just wasting my breath. So that's it then. Murga really has won. I'm going to talk to Serpentine. Mila? Don't worry. I can make him change his mind.
Never thought I'd see this place again. It's in pretty good shape. Good work, General. It's good to be home. Yeah, all things considered, this is the tidiest invasion ever. Wish all of our invaders were this neat. Good news, everyone! Serpentine's agreed to take us with him! Yes! Out of the goodness of my reptilian heart, I've decided that all five of us will stop the menace that is Murga. Thanks, Serpentine. And great work, Mila. How did you manage to convince him? Oh, I just made a promise. No biggie. I hope you're all exactly as heavy as you look. Otherwise, this will be a short trip. Rude assessment of our collective weight aside, I assume this interjection means we are ready to leave? Weren't you listening to me before? I still need syntax for the vector calculations. Then our course is clear. Track down Spade, beat him to within an inch of his life, and take syntax back from his broken fingers. Sounds like a plan. We'll hold the fort down here. Before you go, though, Magister wants to see you girls. Something urgent, he says. Yo, Magister, what's up? Magister, you summoned us, O oh, Exalted One? Thank you for coming.
I wish to share the results of my research regarding Murga and the Water Dragon people. At first, what I found merely reaffirmed everything we already knew. That the Water Dragons turned violent. That Murga was their greatest warrior. That many Shangtuzians died defending themselves from the Perusian Scourge. Then I realized that the books I had read were all written by Earth Dragons and their descendants. I scoured the library for any book that could possibly recount history from a Water Dragon's perspective. I found it within a handwritten book of flowers and horticulture. There were various annotations by the author describing what was then to her current events. If what she wrote is true, then... I'm so sorry, Lilac. Murga is right to be angry. Magister. I was hoping that, perhaps by speaking to her, I could persuade her from this course. Her grudge is against my people. The rest of the world need not suffer for our arrogance and conspiracy. But I suppose that hope is extinguished now. No, I don't believe that. Are you mad? She commands an aerial fortress capable of intergalactic flight and eating moons. The time to appeal to her better nature has long since passed. Maybe I just don't want to be the last water dragon anymore, but I still want to try. The last centurion of a long gone race? Isn't that someone worth talking to? Someone of your own blood. Yeah, I get that. Someone who may be afraid of being nothing more than a weapon. Someone with the courage and discipline to do what is needed to be done. Very well. I suppose we can attempt to do the right thing. Should the situation arise. Have I come at a bad time? We acknowledge and welcome the King of Shui Gong in the court of Shang Tu. Your Majesty! Hi! King Dale, to what do we owe this unexpected pleasure? Oh. This is just a casual state visit. I realized that we never properly thanked you for all your assistance in Shui Gong. So I brought along this beautiful gift. And this wretched scoundrel of a brother. Spade. Uh, he busted me up good. My men have the syntax drone under guard outside. Your communicator can act as a relay between us. I wish to... Make amends. All right. Enemies detected. Executing slaughter sequence number two. Belay that! These are our allies! For now. Right. So is Syntax all fixed up to the ship now? There! All done! Now we- We leave right now. Excellent! To Bacchanella! <laughs> what the- What did you pack? Rocks? Just brought a few potion materials to be on the safe side! And some lab equipment and safety equipment and... Bah! Whatever! You're lucky I overcompensated for how heavy you lot are fourfold! Rude assessment of our weight aside... Engage! As you wish, sir. analysis complete. Sensors confirm a code black compatibility of 91%. <laughs> Brilliant! Then I'm heading straight for the power core! You mean you know how to get there? Um... Right. Of course not.
Murga to trap us again. Right.
gets in my way. <laughs> 